Hey everybody and welcome back to this video. I'm so excited to have you guys here because this is my first clothing try on haul and of course we're doing Shein. Now I have never shopped at Shein before. I haven't even seen anything in person and I'm so excited because I've been so curious for the longest time what their quality is like because the price is so low. So if you would like to know what the quality is like, the sizing, how it feels and fits, keep on watching. And I really just want to thank you guys for being here. I appreciate it so much and I hope you guys enjoy this video. And without further ado, let's get into it. <music> If you didn't know by the title, we have got a massive haul we're doing today. This is what we're working with. So she's full. There's 35 items in here. Not all of them are clothing pieces, but a good majority. And I'm going to be showing you every single one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> A couple of the smaller pieces, I, sorry, my light's too bright, too sex. Um, so I just got some jewelry pieces. So I've got some rings, um, just a simple necklace. It has a couple of like ball looking things and then a pearly one. I was gonna use this for like a future look I was doing. So I'm just looking and the rings are $1.95. This choker was $1.95 and this one here was literally 95 cents. So they are very, very, very cheap. Um, yeah, and I think they're just really good for like photos or, you know, just every day. You don't need to be fancy. So the next one is a stick-on bra. So this is one of those stick-on bras like this and you can do it up. It just kind of lifts your um, breast. And honestly, these are really, really good. The only time I've ever had a problem is when you are out and it's like 40 degrees and your whole body is sweating, it will come off. <laughs> it's a given. Um, but other than that, they are actually really handy to have, especially for backless dresses and stuff. They are possibly my favorite that I have tried, although I haven't really tried many of these. The one from Shein was about $6. It was $5.95 and the last one I got was from Codnon and I'm pretty sure the one from Codnon was close to like the $15 mark. So honestly, I reckon it's going to work exactly the same. It feels exactly the same as the Codnon one I had. So I'm pretty hopeful. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and try a pair of denim shorts. Um, I'm a sucker for black shorts. I'm a sucker for high-waisted. I reckon high-waisted suits me a lot more because of my body shape. Um, and these actually like, these have stretch in them, which is really good. Uh, so let's hope they fit. So these are $17.95 and I got a size 30, which I think it works out to be about a large. Um, and these actually feel good. These feel like the exact same material from the ones that I got from JJ's and the JJ ones were much dearer. Okay, so these are the shorts on. They are a good fit, except I... So they are a good fit, except my like version of high-waisted is like to the belly button or higher. <laughs> and they are very stretchy, which is such a good thing. And for like $17, $18, I would buy two. So the next item I'm going to try is this ribbed one-piece top. I never, ever, ever wear one-piece um, like things. <laughs> so... I'm a little scared. This here is $5.95 and it is a very thin material. And putting my hand up, like you probably won't be able to see it, but I can see my hand through this. So it is see-through and it is very thin. Other than it being thin, the quality is like, it's soft. It doesn't feel 
that cheap. It kind of just feels like something you'd get off a clearance rack. Okay, so this is it on, as you can see, it is see-through. I am wearing a black bra. Um, like, I don't hate it, but it's not my favorite. Um, I, I don't know what to think. <laughs> So this is probably, like it just feels really thin. It feels like I'm not wearing anything. Um, because I'm not used to one piece items as well, I'm not used to having like something only on one arm and this um, feels naked. That probably has a bit to do with it. But overall it does look nice. So I give the top maybe like Look, if I was like fitter and skinnier, I'd probably give it like a 7 or an 8. Um, <laughs> but at the moment, it's probably about a 5. Would I wear it? Yeah, probably in future when I'm a bit, you know, more fitter. These shorts though, I, I honestly give the shorts like a 9. The reason why it's not a full 10 is because it does say it is high-waisted and like it should be up a bit higher like they're a bit short for high-waisted so so this next one is a two set rib top so it comes in quite a few colors I've got the pink and the green and I sized up so this is like quite roomy um, but I sized up due to like my boobs and yeah and when I said I sized up, like I sized up to an extra large. Keep in mind, these are made in Hong Kong. Usually I'm about a 10 to a 12 in tops. And in shorts, I'm about a 12. There's room, there's heaps of room. Um, I just, it's just the boobs, just like the buttons just want to pop off, pop up. They want to open, so. But for the two pack, it is $15, which is so cheap. Um, the pink is a bit see-through, but you know, I actually got told that the ribbed clothing is see-through, so I just need to put on a nude bra. And this is the green one. I really like the green one. I would, I'd probably rate these about probably about a seven. They are really thin in material, so keep that in mind. Um, as you know, I've sized up, but they are really cheap. I once again feel like you would find these at Cotton On or Supreme. I don't hate them, but they're not my fave. I would still wear them though. I really do like this green. I like the green more than the pink, but I'm not so much of a pink girl, so. So this is another top. Um, this one, it's got, you know, like strappy bits so if you wanted you could go around the front and do like whatever pattern um I'm not gonna do that because like it points out my what ifs so I would probably just be tying it out the back so don't mind I still have my bra on this is one this is a top that you would wear with a strapless bra, a backless bra I mean, but that is what it looks like. And I do, I really love this top, like it just be stunning in summer. Also I got these shorts and they've got like a butterfly print. These are a bit too tight. Um, so these shorts I got in a large and they're $16.95. Um, the other shorts I got were in a large, except these do not stretch, like, at all. And honestly, if I were to go somewhere and eat, I would feel like I couldn't breathe. They're, they're that tight. This top, I actually got three. So, the top I got in a large, and it was $9.95. So, I got this in three colours. So, I got it in this, like, brownie colour. I got it also in a white, which obviously do not wear a black bra with. <laughs> and also this green. I'm honestly digging these types of greens lately. Um, I don't know why I never used to, but I'm growing to like them. So the next one is this little top here, and I love crop tops. This material feels so soft and honestly, like, 
I, once again, I feel like I could get this at like Cotton On. And I'm pretty sure their tops like this are about, comment if I'm wrong, um, off the top of my head, I think, what, are they like $15 or $20 or something? But this one here was $10. This is a large. It is so comfortable. I would be wearing this religiously. Um, I honestly, I can't fault it. I rate this a 10 out of a 10. And the, sorry, my dog is like right between my feet. Um, also, I got these like booty shorts because the one good thing about me is I have a butt. Um, like my butt's good and I kind of wanted to get these to see if they actually do make your butt look you know like as good as it is and also to tease a little someone someone in the house and I love these these are so comfy guys like comfy soft like stretchy it feels like I'm not wearing anything so this is the front and that's the back. So, I love. I'm obsessed. Guess who's coming home today to the partner wearing these. Um, <laughs> love it. So, once again, I got these shorts in a large. I'm pretty sure I got, like, everything in a large. And these were $6.95. I would honestly buy, like, 10 of these. These are, like... The comfort level, these are like a 12 out of a 10. I'm, I swear this is my favorite so far. Just saying. Go get yourself some. So these here are the next pair of shorts. They are striped. Um, that's them from the back. And these feel cheap. So these are $10. They've got like little tassels at the front. Um, they feel really cheap. I They kind of feel like this sheet that you get from Kmart for your bed. I mean, they look okay. They just feel really cheap. I reckon they're see-through because I can see the tag like right here. And I got them in a medium. They are comfy for a medium. They're like a little tight. Could definitely size up. But overall, like for lounging around and stuff, they're pretty good. If they fit my sister, she could probably have them. So, yeah. Okay, so these are the next shorts. I got them in white. These are really comfortable. And I also forgot to mention the black, the very first pair of black shorts, they don't have pockets. The pockets are fake. These ones have pockets, which amazing. I reckon I'm gonna get these in a couple of different colors. So these were also $17.95. And they are so comfortable. I feel like the white will probably be a bit see-through. So I'd probably just wear like nude underwear. But other than that, I honestly can't fault them. They feel really good. Also, this top. So it's got thin spaghetti straps. Um, she's a bit short. <laughs> Shorter than I honestly thought. I love it. I love the color. I love like the way it kind of like shapes for $5.95 honestly can't go wrong it's also double lined which is really good um not see through at all I just wish I had more confidence to wear this but I'd probably wear it with like a high waisted skirt or something on I do like it so the top I got in two colors so I got this nice blue color which this is such it's literally my favorite color. Um, so this top I would rate probably an eight. I just wish it was that tiny bit longer. The shorts are, I'm gonna say about an, an it's like an eight and a half, nine, only because they're see-through, but I know with a lot of white stuff, it is see-through. And I also got it in white. So here's the white and it's so strange. It feels bigger, but it's the exact same size. So I don't know why that is. But that's the back. Very comfortable. I give it, I give it like an eight. So I really like them. I just got a pair, not with these, and I reckon I'll love it. And the other thing is, like the quality of the shorts. 
I can't fault, like there's no stitching issues or anything. There's nothing like, you know, broken, tacky. Like it's honestly pretty good quality. So this is the two piece bathing suit I got. I adore this, adore it. The only problem, only problem I have is the top. It is not underwired. It's not underwired. I can feel it slipping up. And so with the top, I would probably upsize. So if you upsize in the top, you need to upsize in the bottoms. And like, I can't fault the bottoms. I'm pretty sure though, we would prefer to have the boobs stay in. So I really love it. I do love it. So I got it in a large and it is $14.95. I'll probably give it an 8. If there was a wire, it'd be a 10. So this is the one piece that I got. I I love the back. It's, it's honestly stunning. You can tie it around your waist. You've got multiple ways you can tie it. It's pretty like low cut, I, I must admit. Um, and even on the side, like this area is a bit, you know. <laughs> But for $14.95, you honestly can't go wrong. I reckon I'll be wearing this a lot this summer. I also love the colour. And also, I live near a river, so this colour is going to be perfect for like that type of water. Even at the beach though, like, mm, yes. I, all in all, I honestly rate this probably a 9. Um, the reason is being I just wish there was more like coverage in this region. Okay, so this is a little play suit that I got. Now, this material is very soft. It is, can't, like, it's so soft. I'm not 100% sold on it. I'd probably just lounge around this in the house. I don't think it looks flattering on my body shape, so. So, this is in a large, and it was also $14.95. But don't get me wrong, it is really soft. The quality is definitely there. Um, I'm probably going to give it about a 6. And that's because of the quality. Sorry, my... What are you doing, Beth? Come here. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, little interruption. Um... I rated it a six because like the quality is there, the size is not, the size like, there's no problem with the size at all. It's just, I don't like it on me. So this one here is meant to be like a bodycon dress and it is a bit big. Um, I actually sized up in this one because I didn't know how it was going to go. I ended up getting an extra large and I should have just gotten like a large. It's um, as you can see, it's a bit gapy here. Sorry, I'm back really far. It's also nice. It's also a nice length. Like, it's overall really good. Um, I should just size down. And this is also $7.95. The material is pretty thin. It doesn't look see-through, but I would probably double check that when you're actually outside. But would I wear this in the future? Yes, once I'm more comfortable with myself, I would definitely. Um, so I give this probably be probably about a seven. Okay, so this is a, another dress that I got. And I got this in a large. This material feels like, I don't know how to describe it. Like, it's not quite silky. It's like, if, you had a bather and it was kind of like silky like that. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I seriously can't describe how it feels. It doesn't feel normal-ish. So this was $15.95. And this is the back of it. I feel like there's not enough leeway to tie it up with. Like the part that you tie it up, it is pretty short. But I don't mind it. The length, it's such a good length. I honestly thought this was going to be short. You know how you see a dress and you're like, oh, that looks really good, but it's like up to your crutch. 
I didn't know how long this was actually going to be and I'm surprised that it's actually a decent length. But overall, I don't hate it. Um, it is pretty nice. <laughs> so I reckon I would give this probably about a seven. Okay, all right, so my next piece I'm showing you is like a two piece. It's this top and a skirt. Guys, the material on the skirt, it's so thick, it's stretchy, it's so soft. Like, I would not guess that this is from Shein. This is, um, let me just put it on. Get out of town. Wow. I love, I love, I love, I love, I love. Oh my God, now I wish I went somewhere. Where can I go? Where can I wear this to? Someone have a party. Find me. <laughs> so this is from the Shein Sexy line. Um, if you have a look on Shein, you can see they've got all these like different types of lines and collabs and stuff they do. This is $14.95. I, seriously guys, I've got a black skirt, it's like a split, not as high, same type of thing, and just for the skirt alone, I spent like $30. This is $14.95. It feels so much better, it's so flattering. This is, this is a 20 out of 20, this is a 20 out of 10. I'm shocked. Also, this is in a large as well. So, this is the second two-piece I got. It's a skirt. It has two layers. Um, I really like the skirt. It's also got like a tie up as well, which is really good because you can like singe it in. And then it has this top. So they're just like cuff pieces. Is that what you call them? Like I was planning on wearing this to my Christmas party. I don't know. Comment down below if you like this outfit. Like, I really want to know, out of every single one, do you like this outfit? <laughs> um, should I wear it to the Christmas party? But, like, I like it. I just, like, I don't know if it suits me. So this one was the most expensive one. It was $31. Um, it's the only one that I spent uh, actually a decent amount on. And it is so thick, you can tell from some of the other previous things like you can tell this cost more but also in saying that with like some of the tops like the crop tops and the denim shorts and everything they were half the price and you would honestly think they're the same so i think it's just a hit and miss in that type of area um so it's also a large all right so when i saw these i had to get them i got these like pjs just to lounge around in for summer. And when I saw it, I was like, I need that. Um, they're very comfy, silky, nice material, thin. They're gonna be perfect for summer because here it gets to like 40 degrees. So I also got these in a large and they fit really well. The top is loose, like it's not tight. The shorts are nice and comfortable and it was $12.95 so I reckon I'm gonna get more PJs from them to be honest like I really like this <laughs> so this is another crop top um, and a skirt now I got a bit scared then because the skirt is actually a zipper and um, because I've got such a wide hips and stuff, usually they don't fit me, but this one fits perfect. Like it's not too tight. I can, you know, still fit down there. <laughs> and it's so flattering. And I also can't get over the quality of the tops. So far Shein has honestly blown my mind. Like I was expecting this stuff would be good because I didn't want to waste all that money. But at the same time, a bit of me was like, it just felt too good to be true. So I'm shook. So this is the same top as the previous one, um, just a different like color. And this skirt is $14.95, also in a large. I can't fault it. This skirt, I reckon it's going to be worn a lot this summer. 
Um, I give it a 10 out of 10. This top is a 10 out of 10. This outfit is a 10 out of 10. So I got an oversized jumper and then also like this oversized. It's actually classified as a top, which makes sense because it's honestly not thick enough to be a jumper. Okay, so this feels so weird because like the only like long sleeve things I really wear are jumpers. So usually I have a top on underneath. I don't for this. <laughs> I just have my bra but this is like so cute um love it it's like enough like room to stick your hands in <laughs> if you're that type of person so this i actually got in a medium because i wanted it to be like a little baggy but not too baggy and it was 12.95 the material's very thin it's a little see-through like in the light i can kind of see my bra but overall i'm um, i love it i can't fault it this is i probably like it to be a little longer because like my like it sits like right at the under boob it'd have to be probably i'm gonna say like a nine if if it was that tad longer it'd be a ten i I recommend this if you're into this type of thing. Okay, so this one here, um, I'm not wearing a bra on. It is see-through. It's got this little, like, you know, peekaboo. Like, it's shorter than I kind of thought as well. But I do like it. Would I wear it out? I'm going to have to be really confident <laughs> to do that for me. It also is a large as well. And it was $6.95. So I feel like for $6.95, can't go wrong. Don't get me wrong, I like it. I really do like it. Um, I'm probably just going to do maybe a 7. <laughs> and this is a plaid skirt. I always wanted one of these. Um, I don't know why. I just, I just really like them. Now, I got this in a size up because according to the measurements, I actually went by my true size. Um, there's a zip. And I didn't expect it to be, like, I thought it was going to be, like, tighter at the waist. So, I could have gone down a size. So, this I got a 0XL, which is one above, like, the large. And it is $14.95. I probably give the skirt about a 7 as well. It is really thin. It is pretty thin material. So, this is the second item that I spent, like, the most on. It was $19.95. And it's a ribbed knitted oversized jumper it feels really soft like the knit is really well done i can't see like any issues or anything um it hasn't come undone anywhere so the quality is honestly pretty good this honestly like it feels similar to the ones i get from cotton on all right you know what she's cute plenty like i'm that's my fingers like you know straight plenty of room to hide in here it is pretty thin though as you can see it is see-through so keep that in mind it is really really thin do not expect this to keep you warm in winter honestly it's perfect to just slap on if it gets a little chilly i would probably rate this it's a bit different kind of to what i thought it was i thought it was going to be a little bit heavier material um it's lighter than what i actually thought so i'm probably going to give this probably about a seven and a half this here's one of the sandals that i got um it just feels like a ruby sandal to be honest like it's not too bad it looks pretty nice and then this one here is the second one it feels a bit like stiff but i'm sure it would break in over time so I would rate this one probably about an 8 and i do the first one probably be probably about a 6. So that is it for today. I really hope you guys enjoyed this haul. If there are any other companies that you would like me to review and show you and do a haul on, let me know in the comments below. And also let me know what your favorite piece is and what would you wear. And once again, thank you so much for being here. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.